Elias, your your hair, your face, you look you look like a normal person now, not a weird male protagonist. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I can see now. I have eyes, guys. Congratulations. And out of all the place to do it, we're in jail. Making mug shots. We'll say cheese. So after several crimes Wait, and that's death, it? That's all we're going to talk about your face? So our government decided to hand us over to a neighboring kingdom, banishing us outside the country. Elias, do something. Aren't you all powerful? Why are you just getting arrested? And as you said that, turning to Elias, you found him talking talking to a court official. Something was being whispered to his ears and the expression of Elias went grim. Why grim? We need to go to this prison. Prison? So currently our kingdom is under the rule of a bigger empire called Kreta. Okay. Under the rule of King Minos. And they require 14 sacrifices <laughs> to be sent to their secret, elaborate prison. So okay. we're about to embark on a 10 days long voyage and we're allowed to take one treat with us. Shit biscuits, uh -huh. lime juice, Rum and coconuts. What do you take? I'm not gonna be wasted the entire time I go there. Lime juice, obviously. And it's that the right choice. It's the wrong answer. It's the right choice. I've seen this in you documentaries. Lost life. Okay, what's the what's the answer then? Rum! <laughs> You're not gonna get scurvy because you didn't get vitamin C for 10 days. The reason why the, the sailors and pirates loved rum so much was that they would mix that rum with the water they drink to sanitize the water with the alcohol. I, I like how slime Elias just watches me die all the time and just doesn't do anything. So during our voyage on the ship, a man, one of the 14, came up to you and introduced himself. Hi, my name is Theseus. I'm actually the prince of our kingdom. We're going to see a minotaur. This is a monster that I plan to slay. Okay, so what do you want from me? Trust me and follow my lead, said he. So here's your option. Do you start associating with Theseus or do you keep your distance from him? No thanks, buddy. I'm just trying to find my dragon, live out my life. <laughs> what happened to my dragon, by the way? It was stolen to the towers of magicians for them to study. Oh, damn. Okay, yeah, I gotta escape as soon as possible and find my dragon. Sorry, dude. Theseus said, all right, suit yourself and nothing happened. That oh was the right choice. Oh my God. The thing is, in a secluded and an isolated environment like a ship, the high-ranking officers would be very worried about low-ranking sailors or the prisoners gathering up, conspiring against them. So they would try to dissipate any gathering that's more than three people. So now we have arrived at the court of King Minos, the ruler of Creta Island. Wow, this place looks terrible. Actually, it's supposed to look great. It's one oh. of the most glorious civilization in ancient Greek. Sorry. Wow, this place looks magnificent. Now here's a Thing. You somehow need to charm one of the royal ladies to give you a hint or helpful clue to navigate your way in the labyrinth. Okay. I can't help you on this because it's really on you. The reason being, your only chance is to charm the queen. Animal is her thing. Wait, I don't think we can talk about this. So the so the story goes is that this is the actual lore of, yeah. of Greek mythology. Okay. So King Minos, as he was competing his rivals and brothers for the throne, he asked Poseidon to take his side and told the people that if they picked him as their king, they would win the favor of Poseidon. So as a proof of Poseidon being on his side, he received a magnificent bull that arose from the sea. Now, he was supposed to sacrifice that bull in the honor of Poseidon, but when he saw the bull, he thought it was such a magnificent bull, he has to have more. So he planned to mate that bull with other cows he had so that he can create a new breed. Now, this pissed Poseidon off. So he cursed the queen to start having desires towards the bull. Oh, uh, okay. Let me stop you right there. I get it. And that's how Minotaur was born. Okay, so what you're telling me is, as a were beast, she's into my type. I go up to the queen. Wait, what am I trying to get out of her? The queen could guide your way out of the labyrinth. Okay. You don't want to see a handsome man like me die in a... <laughs> Stop, stop making that face, Elias. I'm trying, I'm trying to be serious. How about you and me after this whole thing blows over? Get out of here. Roll the dice. But I have to get higher. Three or higher. Five. I did it. It worked. I did the it. Quinn, charmed by your meerkat masculinity. <laughs> I am the flirtiest flirter ever! The queen handed you a bowl of string. Now we embark into the journey of labyrinth. We are divided into different groups. Thankfully, the both of us are in the same group. We are thrown into different entrances of the labyrinth. Wait, I have Elias. Why am I even scared at all? Why did I even flirt with the queen? Because while I am really old and powerful as a magnificent slime, I require water to get my power. We're in the middle of an ocean. I'm a freshwater slime. That's sea what? water. <laughs> you can't do that! As you go in deeper into the labyrinth, you found the traces of both human footsteps 
and hoofs. Do you follow the track or do you go the other way back? I mean, we're gonna have to face them anyway. Let's follow the track. As you follow the track, you discover a minotaur and a man fighting each other. So what do you do? I choose you, Elias. Roll the dice. One. So minotaur stop fighting, but the man whom we're trying to help and say immediately turned to us with his eyes red and drooling. So the crazy person leaped towards Elias, but since he's a liquid, he just goes straight through my body okay. and attacks you. What? My friend? You're not going to die, but you did get injured. Okay. And Minotaur comes in to help, saving your life. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone calm the heck down. This person is just going mental. We need to help him. Do you have anything to bind him with? Wait, what? Minotaur? He can talk? You're a half mirkin and you can talk. I'm a half cow and I can talk. But I thought you were a mass murdering killer. What? Okay, I'll ask questions later. What do we do with this person? Oh, wait, I have some strings. So. So we basically tied an intricate knot to find the crazy rabbit person and placed him on the sign. Woo! And said, welcome to the labyrinth. Nice to meet you guys. My name is Asterios. My name is Daniel. This is Elias. Mm -hmm. uh, we're prisoners. We're supposed to get eaten by you or kill you, I guess. But Guys, why would I eat people? Like I'm half omnivore and half herbivore. I'm vegan by birth. Wait, is this canon of the Greek mythology? I'm so confused. It is. Oh, it is? The very reason why this person went crazy is because because he committed cannibalism and then went crazy from Kuru virus. Well, just a quick note. There's like a other group of people who might want to kill you real soon. He has a string. His name is Theo or something. I can't remember what his <laughs> name was. Theseus. Theseus. We should probably get it out of here before they come. As we started chatting and becoming buddies, we started hearing multiple footsteps from afar. Okay, remember those guys that I told you about, about wanting to kill you? Mm -hmm. That might be them. They appear holding a blade. Theseus, listen up. I will be the victorious hero. I will slay you, a monster, and everyone will praise my name. Okay, that's great, but this dude Hi. isn't a uh, murdering cannibalistic bull. He's just a regular dude. Liar! I found countless bones and skulls here. Would you believe me if I said that those people killed each other? Who cares? I'm gonna kill you and become a hero. Okay, great. So we're fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Asterius steps forward and says, how are you gonna get out of here? DC just yelled, you minotaur will be slayed by me, and I have my way out. The princess gave me this ball of string to navigate my way. And Esther's first responded, please stop calling me Minotaur. My, I have a name. Minotaur literally means the towers of King Menos. I don't belong to him. And wait, what? The princess gave you a ball of strings? My sister gave you the strings to kill me. I really like how you're just monologuing this <laughs> entire thing and I'm just standing here. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just seeing where you're going with this. Asterios, shocked and in grief, lost the will to live and fight. But Theseus and his goon stood up and tried to kill us all. What do you do? I guess I gotta help the Minotaur. Or Astrologist or whatever his name is. Asterios. Yeah, Asterios, I'm sorry. It's a weird name. Call me Aster. I help Aster. Okay, roll your dice. Uh, what do I have to get? Four or higher. Four. Nice, okay. Okay, so Elias reshaped his body into a sword and you swung this liquid blade as your weapon. Wait, we can do that? <laughs> What? <laughs> you didn't realize high pressure water can cut through a diamond, right? You know, then you could have just breaking us out from even coming in here. Yeah, but I wanted to help this cool creature out. You didn't know his backstory. Did you know his backstory? What do you think the court official was trying to whisper into me? Oh, all right, let's do this. I guess I'm swinging you around. <laughs> <laughs> After we apprehend the Theseus and his goons, we go to Asterios and try to get his spirit up. We don't still technically have a way out of here, right? So there are two ways the labyrinth was cracked. One was to still follow the string. The walls shift, so some of the blocks just lead to a dead end. But if you wait there long enough, the walls will shift back to its original place, giving you a chance to go back. Choice number two is to go as high as possible, finding the biggest window available. I'm just gonna go back to the string and see what happens. Is that the choice you make? Or do yeah. you wanna up with the third option on a freestyle. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with string. So we tried to follow back the string, then step by step, wall by wall, we went back to the original entrance. Problem is that it took way too long. We're hungry and weak. The door and I have the injury from the crazy <laughs> yeah, you're dude. Also injured. So I should technically take your life, but there are two more questions. <laughs> So I'm gonna let this slide. No, I think I think it'll be funnier uh -huh. if I just lose the life here and then we just go with whatever happens. All right, fine. Because you have lost too much blood and without any getting any proper treatment for way too long, okay. you die from blood loss and infection. I, I appreciate you trying to go easy on me, but I also like this kind of, <laughs> it might end kind of thing. Please get the next question right, Daniel. I will, I will. Okay, so we stand before the closed gates of Labyrinth. Uh, before it, there is a riddle. Hold on, before we continue, what was the right answer? You're a freaking mirror cat. You could have dug your way out. No. Could I? No, because probably no. 
<laughs> so the riddle said to escape the labyrinth, break the marking of a labyrinth. And there were three images carved into the stone. One was a sword, the second was an axe, and third was a bow. You must break the right stone tablet to open the gate and escape. Um, wait. I'll dig myself out. That's actually cool. Yeah, let's go with that. Really? I could just, I could have done this this entire time? Yeah, let's roll. Oh, okay. I'll roll for it. Okay, that sounds fair. Six. I did Six. it. I am a genius. So the right choice among the three tablets would be an axe because the word labyrinth doesn't actually mean maze. Etymologically speaking, it actually means the castle of double-edged decks. But you did good with your freestyle choice. Great. Okay, I'm just going to do freestyle choice from here on in. We escaped through the entrance that we came in. The first thing we see as we step outside into the light is a whole army pointing their weapons at us, trying to kill us all. What do you do? Elias, turn into a sword again. I don't, I need more moisture, man. I, I need, I, I'm so tired. What is too. the use of you? Get me a border and I'll overpower everything. You can't do salination or something? It's a bit of a risk. I could try to extract the water from the salt water, but the osmotic pressure might kill me too. Like in terms of out of six, what percentage? <laughs> what, what, four or higher. Four or higher? Okay, let and me here's think. the thing, because it's my transformation, I have to roll. Are you sure about this, Daniel? Let me think of another solution. <laughs> How do you go through an army, dead tired, useless slime, and a depressed minotaur? Motivate the minotaur. And make Elias try the salination water separation <laughs> thing. I'll do both, uh -huh. but my odds are better. Yeah, I'll allow that. Okay, minotaur, do you see what Elias is doing for you right now? He's gonna risk his life, and you're just gonna stand here, you little piece of shit. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna do this to Elias. Okay, roll the dice. Let me just do two or higher. <laughs> no, that's cheating. You can roll for Asterios, and if you get four or higher, that works. And for the salination process, I have to roll. All right. <laughs> you didn't realize this was your last chance, right? Like, No, I still have you. You're my chance. Our history suggests that this is not a chance. Wait, what are the odds for you? Four or higher, same. You know what? I'm kind of happy whatever happens. We end up closing this season with this episode. We're doing season two. Okay, go ahead. Roll for it. Whatever happens, happens. What did you get? Two. You mean a four? No, two. You misread it. It's a four. I somewhat managed the acceleration process to a certain point, growing my size and slowly becoming bigger. But osmotic pressure killed me in the end, and I dissolved into water. And my body basically created a tsunami. Wait, I have to die too. You have to kill me off. You just got swept off by tsunami, Daniel. You're you're dead. As soon as water is involved, the protagonist is never dead. If you want to end the series, you're gonna have to like stab me or shoot me in the head, or something's gonna happen. If I went in the water, we'll be back in the next season. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that offer. Roll four or higher, then you somehow swim out of this tsunami. I can't do that. No, roll the freaking dice. I think. Roll the dice, Daniel. I think what makes our series so beautiful is the audience will never get an ending. Because I'm pretty sure the dragon that was taken away from us is going to be important to the plot like in yes! later episodes. We're going to rescue it. It was going to be much, much bigger. And were we supposed to meet like Nelly in this series as well? Yes. <laughs> And Theo was supposed to come back. Yeah, yeah we were supposed to pay a visit in the Dwarf Kingdom. It's like One Piece, but Luffy only got Zoro. And then the series ended. <laughs> If this series does well, we'll do another one. And if it doesn't, we'll do another one. We can always go back to Can You Survive? We'll vlog again because Nelly and Theo are both right now. I have many, many monsters. We can try other things. I have eyes now. I can glare. Oh yeah. Is your eyes a permanent thing now? Or is this like, because the series is over, you're going to go back to no eyes? I don't know why I never had eyes, man. <laughs> I look like the protagonist from the one of those perverted Japanese games. Well, the audience might have gotten used to you having no eyes and having you with eyes might be weird for them. That sounds like their problem. I can't see that. I mean, right, sure. Whatever makes you happy. I mean, when I first gave him my character design, it had eyes. It just said long frontal hair. Uh, so you're keeping the eyes? Yes. Hey, so at least we got something out of this series, eh? 